Hey guys, Jobwise Jones coming right back at you again for another video. I was going to do something different, but uh, Alto Gracia requested, Hey, Mr. Jones, when are you going to make more videos for the testing? <laughs> so I said, okay. The truth is they take a long time to make because there's a lot of editing in these videos, but you did request and I will make for you, okay? So you guys, you see what Mr. You see what Alto Gracia did? Requested a video and I'm making it. So if you guys have anything MA related you want to know about, give me a, a, a shout out. I will definitely put it in for a video for you and I'll do it for you, okay? I have time because my video channel is very small so I can do these things, all right? And again, I'm, I'm Jonesy Jobwise Jones. I'm here to make videos for you guys for anything medical assistant related. Again, I'm one of the few channels out there that even take care of medical assistant needs, questions, testing, so on and so forth. I know I'm one of the few, but I believe in what I'm doing, okay? So let's start it off right now. Let's get you ready for the CCMA, AAMA test with some questions. These questions are not on the actual test, but they are very close and I already know this. So let's go with the first one. Saliva contains an enzyme that acts upon which of the following nutrients again saliva contains an enzyme that acts upon which of the following nutrients is it starches proteins fats minerals or vitamins starches proteins fats minerals are vitamins mm. in men specimens for gonococcal cultures are most commonly Obtained from which of the following structures? Is it the anus, bladder, skin, testicle, urethra? Mm. Is it the anus, bladder, skin, testicles, urethra? Good question there, right? Okay, let's get going, guys. Which of the following describes the cluster of blood capillaries found in each nephron of the kidney. Whew, a lot of words there. Okay, is it the loop of Henle, renal pelvis, renal tubule, glomerulus? Mm, that's a tough one, isn't it? Okay, let's keep on going. Which of the following best describes the structure that collects urine in the body? Is it the bladder, the kidneys, ureter, urethra? Hmm. Bladder, kidneys, ureter, or urethra? Which one could it be, huh? Let's keep walking it. Let's keep going, okay? In men, which of the following structures is located at the neck of of the bladder and surrounds the urethra. Big question, let's try that question again and make sure you get it. In men, which of the following structures is located at the neck of the bladder and surrounds the urethra? Is it the prostate, the scrotum, the seminal vessel, or the vas deferens? Mm. Prostate, scrotum, seminal visco are the vas deferens. That's a tough one, huh? At this point here, you guys, if you're enjoying this video, that's getting you ready for the, one of the biggest tests of your life, the CCMA, AAMA, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate the support because supporting this channel is supporting medical assistance. We see thousands of videos for doctors and nurses. We see very few for MAs. I am one of the few channels who supports medical assistance, so please spread the word and give me a subscribe. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Male hormones are produced by which of the following? Prostate, testes, or vas deferens? Prostate, testes, or vas deferens? That's a big one, right? Which of the following are mucus producing glands located on each side of the vaginal opening? Again, listen carefully, okay? Which of the following are mucus producing glands located on each side of the vaginal opening? Adrenal, 
Bartholins, Corpus Luteum, are parotid. Listen carefully now, guys. Adreno, Bartholins, Corpus Luteum, are parotid. Those are good ones there, right? Here we go. Fertilization of an odum, sorry, fertilization of an ovum by a spermatozoan occurs in which of the following structures? Here we go again. This is careful, careful listening. Fertilization of an ovum by a spermatozoan occurs in which of the following structures? The cervix, fallopian tube, ovary, uterus, or vagina? Here's the possible answers again. Cervix, fallopian tube, ovary, uterus, or the vagina? Calcium, potassium, and sodium are classified as which of the following? Electrolytes, estrogens, androgens. Listen to the question again. Calcium, potassium, and sodium are classified as which of the following? Electrolytes, estrogens, are androgens. It's kind of a tough one there, but you can do it, okay? Which of the following is the master gland of the endocrine system? Here's the question again. Which of the following is the master gland of the endocrine system? Adreno, pancreas, pituitary, or thyroid? Again, with the possible answers. Adreno, pancreas, pituitary, or thyroid. Okay. Patients with which of the following diseases are treated with injections of B12? Bell's palsy, Crohn's disease, diabetes, Graves' disease. Again, the possible answers. Bell's palsy, Crohn's disease, diabetes, or Graves' disease. All right. Okay, guys. Now, let's go back. And let's get to the um, first, the, to the beginning, okay? It's the answers for the questions, okay? The first one, saliva contains an enzyme that acts upon which of the following nutrients is starches. Starches. In men... Specimens for gonococcal cultures are most commonly obtained from which of the following structures? That's urethra. Number three, which of the following describes the cluster of blood capillaries found in each nephron of the kidney? Glomerulus. Glomerulus. G L O M. E R U L U S. I have to laugh because I, I'm, I'm in the hospital, right? I'm, in, I'm an administrator, but I haven't done actual patient care for so long, right? So sometimes even I get jump on the word, you guys might laugh and say, oh my gosh, he killed that word. Well, there's a reason why. I'm not an MA anymore, but I'm here to support MAs, right? So give me a break sometimes, all right? Okay. So which of the following conditions is characterized by the presence of kidney stones? Nephrolithiasis, N-E-P-H-R-O-L-I-T-H-I-A-S-I-S. -I -I -S. That's your answer. I'm not going to say it again because I can't say it without killing it, okay? <laughs> okay, let's keep on going. Which of the following best describes the structure that collects urine in the body? That's going to be your bladder. In men, which of the following structures is located at the neck of the bladder and surrounds the urethra. That's the prostate. Male hormones are produced by which of the following? Testes. Which of the following are mucus producing glands located on each side of the vaginal opening? Bartholins. B-A-R-T-H-O-L-I-N-S. Bartholins. Fertilization of an ovum by a spermatozoan occurs in which of the following structures? Fallopian tube. Calcium, potassium, and sodium are classified as which of the following? Electrolytes. 
Which of the following is a master gland of the endocrine system? The pituitary. Last one here, you guys. Patients with which of the following diseases are treated with injections of B12? Graves disease. Okay, you guys. That's the part one I'm going to do. Oh, part one. It's like part ten probably here. But we're going to do more, of course. I'm going to make another video shortly. I'm going to keep on posting these videos. Um, I hope that they're helpful to you. Uh, Alto Gracia, thank you for asking for this video. Um, it's very nice for people to, to respond. You know, again, I'm a very small channel, but I love it when people send me little comments or emails and say, hey, job wise, can you do this or can you do that? And I always try my best to represent medical assistants out there because I really want to make sure that we are represented as well. And this is a good time for how someone like me who supports medical assistance. I'm Job Wise Jones. I, I've been a professional for many years. I have a master's in economics, a BA in urban studies. I was, a, I was an MA for many years, became a city planner, started my own business, had that for seven years. Uh, now I'm in hospital administration. So I have the wide gambit. I'm the perfect person to represent medical assistance. So please, you guys, I would appreciate a subscribe, a comment, a like, and hit the bell for more videos that come out fresh out of the oven, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.